All right, today we're gonna find out if we can start a fire using a drill. So let's do it. All right, here's a scenario. You're coming back from work in the middle of nowhere. Your car breaks down. Get out, kick the tire. <laughs> and you realize there's no service. You need to make a fire to stay warm, but you don't have any fire uh, lighter or anything to make a fire. But you do have your tools. You got your drill. So let's find out if we can make a fire using this. So you're going to want to go collect some wood or make your dog do it for you. As long as you got a semi straight stick, like this one's got a little curve in it. So I'm going to have to cut this end piece off, but that's okay. And then you're going to want a piece of wood as a hearth board because that's what we're going to try and use to make a friction fire. So let's get this ready. Then you're going to want to round it off. All right, when you got the one end looking like this, you go ahead and stick that in the drill. And just tighten that on. And if it spins, set my straight. Then you know you got a good piece. If it's wonking all over the place, uh, you might want to go get a different piece of wood that's a little more straight. All right, now that you got this in the drill, you're gonna want to get your hearth board, get that ready, and we'll stick it on the ground. And if you're actually doing this for a real scenario, and you need like a ground, a dry surface, you could always use like your floor mat in your car. Anyway, let's do this. Now you just want to pre-burn a hole. So we're just gonna do this. Once you got a burnt hole, now we're gonna carve a V into the piece of wood. Okay, now that you got your V cut, you wanna go almost to the center of the hole, but not quite, or else it won't work. But anyway, uh, now you wanna get something to catch the embers, and we're just gonna use that leaf. Should work. And then you're going to want to prepare a side pile. I just got Kleenex and some dried up leaves in there because this is just a demo. But if you really had to, you could use like dried grasses, dead leaves, I don't know, wood shavings, whatever you could find. All right, here, here we go. Well, it looks like this piece of wood was too thin, so we're gonna go find a thicker one. All right, now we're just gonna redo the process with our new piece of wood. And if you could uh, mark the wood with your fingernail and it leaves a mark, that's the type of wood you wanna use, the soft wood. All right, now that we got that going, let's do it. Try her up. We'll just use this as an ember pan. Sometimes when it's cold out, you're gonna have to do it a couple times. All right, let's do this again. Hopefully you got it that time. Still smoking. That's a good sign for sure. 
So now we're going to try and scoop this into the tissue here. I think there's a flame going there now. Oh yeah. There you go. There you have it, people. All right, so there you have it. It's entirely possible to start a fire using a drill. Right on guys, well thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this little video just give it a thumbs up, it helps me out and uh, yeah feel free to subscribe if you're not already so thanks for watching guys. Peace!